All right, hold your horses. I just got to fill the old girl up, and we'll be on the road real soon to get you to your new home, all right? So you just have a seat there, and I'll get to filling up real quick. Here we go. There we go. All right, you get comfy because I'm coming on in. Ooh, this first step is always too big for me. Too short for this job, I swear. Uh, there we go. All right, let me just get this old girl started. Oh, where's my key? There we go, oh, it's in the, of course it's in the ignition. All right, let's get on the road. There we go. All right. So, how are you enjoying your trip to Naconia so far? It's very brave of you, if I'm going to be honest, coming all the way out to an alien planet and offering to live here for, what, a year, you said? That's pretty... <laughs> that's pretty gutsy. I don't know if I'd have the courage to do that, go to a completely alien planet and just, I guess, live there and see how you meld with the culture, huh? You still talking to those scientists? Oh, they're doing monthly checkups. Gotcha. Well, it's really nice of them to put you up somewhere. From what I've seen, it's pretty nice. But, uh, <laughs> shame they couldn't really hook you up with better transportation than an old truck driver like me. Hmm? You're surprised we have truck drivers here? Well... Naconia is a pretty big planet. Sorry, I had to look to make sure. <laughs> Turning sometimes gets a little scary. Naconia is a pretty big planet, and uh, we have a lot of nature that we have preserved. Uh, most of our cities are kind of not really as branched out as other planets. We, uh, we have, I believe, the second most nature-covered settled planet, like actual home planet of any uh, race so far in the in, in the uh, known galaxy. Yeah, we have so much wild nature and just untamed wilderness, and the only things we really have that interferes with that are highways, because, uh, well, there's a lot of folks that live out here in you know, the middle of nature, like where we're driving through, and, uh, well, someone's got to deliver stuff to them, you know? And that's where I come in. <laughs> My actual house is back over in the capital city of Naconia, and, uh, yeah, I make my week, month-long trips out here to help people who live out in the frontier. Yeah, we're taking you back to, uh, Necoopolis. That's our capital city. I think, actually, you'll be living just down the road from me. <laughs> they set you up with a pretty nice apartment, huh? What made you want to come out of here, anyways? Ah, I see. Just pure curiosity, huh? <laughs> well, you're an adventurous spirit, I'll say that. Especially for someone as small as you. I'm actually kind of short for most Nikonians. I'm only uh, six foot ten, at least in your measuring system. <laughs> yeah, that's short. And but you're even shorter, aren't you? <laughs> pet, 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 pet. You'll be fine living here, even though you are small. Although, uh. Don't be surprised if some people want to come over and give you head pats or something. It's a traditional thing here in Nakonia. <laughs> oh. But yeah, we got lots of beautiful nature out here, and we're a pretty peaceful race, and we lived in harmony for a long time with nature. We try our best not to interfere with it. Although it does help that uh, we were found actually pretty early by the uh, Galactic Federation. Yeah, they found us, oh, what was it, just around our Renaissance period, I guess, is what they called it. <laughs> they designated it as our Renaissance in terms of technology and art. But yeah, they showed up, and uh, they introduced themselves to us, apparently, and so 
we've been a part of the Federation for longer than most. Most species only end up joining it once they get space travel. But they kind of adopted us in pretty early, and we've become a pretty pretty prominent race in the Federation. Yeah, most of us are actually spacefaring. Not many <laughs> not many Nikonians actually live on Nikonia, surprisingly. That's mainly due to the fact that it's kind of our a weird cultural, I guess, uh, tradition of ours not to well, ruin the nature of this planet. So, a lot of us live off-world, as not to overcrowd it, and if I'm being honest, it's just kind of like a weird, adventurous thing with our race, it seems. <laughs> Wanting to go out and explore the galaxy. All that stuff. Plus, we don't really have to, you know, dig for a lot of resources here, considering, well, we get a lot of our resources from off-world. The Federation provides a lot of that. There are specific planets dedicated for mining and you know, terraforming for different resources and such so don't really have to strip home planets there anymore but yeah i think you're gonna fit in really well here i'm uh i'm actually really proud of you <laughs> i gotta admit i think it takes a lot of courage to do something like this oh sorry we're at a hill this truck here by the way uh it actually doesn't run on any fossil fuel uh, it has a... Oh, what's the substance called? I got... This is some fancy new engine. I, uh, I have a pretty old truck here. <laughs> but uh, they retrofitted it with some new fancy schmancy engine with a new power source. Uh, I believe it's some sort of off-world like chemical that self replenishes or something when it comes into contact with sunlight. Something plant-based. I completely forget the name of it. Yeah, it won't come to mind. But, regardless, it's clean burning, so that really helps. Most of our trucks are all clean burning, because again, we have a big thing about preserving the nature on our planet. Oh. You said you're staying for a whole year? Hmm. Well, if you need any help in that time, don't don't hesitate to come to me, okay? And uh, I can answer any questions you got about this planet. I know you said you wanted a bit of a history lesson on the drive. Hmm. Oh. Hold on. We gotta pull in here real quick for a uh, check, for a little weight check. That's what that beeping was. Came up on my, on my dashboard computer. Just gotta pass underneath this thing and it x-rays us for our cargo and takes the weight in a split second. There we go. Oh. Alright. And so what's part of this project? What's the whole like, goal? Seeing how you integrate with our society and all that? That makes sense. Despite us being a very, you know, friendly and welcoming planet, we're not really much of a melding pot. It's mostly just Nikonians here and, uh... Well, if I'm being honest, uh, Earthlings have been of a, a bit of a hot topic <laughs> in the Federation after their discovery. They're, uh, you probably heard, they're trying to determine if you're, uh, what's the term? Safe for interaction, I believe is what they said. There's two stages. It's safe for interaction and then safe for integration. So they're trying to determine that. So you're actually a pretty a pretty big historical landmark, if you don't mind me saying, you come into this planet. And, uh, it's, it's kind of just seems like they want to see if you play nice, how you adapt to the planet, and all that stuff. And, uh, Nikonians are a pretty agreeable bunch, if I do say so myself. <laughs> With a bit of bias, I suppose. But you'll do just fine. I believe in you. Here, let me just pat, 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 pat. There you go. <laughs> Again, sorry, it's a bit of a, bit of a cultural thing, giving head pets out. <sighs> but no, I'm really happy for you. I, uh, I think it's pretty nice that they'll let you come back after a year, you know, decide whether you want to stay or go back to Earth, or if you want to, you know, just stay there and get researched, I suppose. Some people are about that. <laughs> they have a few research vessels out there, I think. Oh, yeah, it's not just the one. I think it's two or three of them? I forget, because it's, uh, one of them is full of Nikonians, uh, the other one is, I believe, all different types of, uh, races, 
And the third one is all... Oh, what's those names of them? Wyvarians, I think? I forget. They're kind of like a dragon-ish people, like a lizard race. Very smart, very intelligent, very long-lived. How long do Naconians live? Uh, ballpark about 100 to 200 years. Kind of depends, really. Uh, most Naconians have a variation between how feline appearing they are. Um, so some of them uh, have a lot of fur and they don't even have regular hair. They just have fur, kind of like me. Uh, whereas some of them uh, have very short fur uh, and less big ears. They're not as tall. Some of them don't have any fur. Uh, and I believe usually it's the case that the more feline appearing a Naconian is, the longer lived they are. Something to do with genetics. I'm not a... <laughs> I'm not really a scientist. I'm just a humble trucker. I've been doing this for... 10 years now. Almost 11 at this point. Yeah. I, uh... I kind of inherited the truck from a, uh, from a good friend of mine. And, well, uh... I just don't have that drive to go out into space like most Naconians, so... I figured trucking would keep me on the planet and let me see a lot of things and I got friends out in the frontier and in other cities so it's a real nice job I really like seeing all the nature and just having time to myself and it's uh it's pretty nice pretty easy work hours you know I got my whole uh, room set up back there with a bed you can use that if you need later on to sleep because uh, we got a bit of a drive ahead of us <laughs> We're a pretty big planet here. But no, it's uh, it's been really nice for me. I've been really enjoying it. Really love my truck. Still not sure why uh, government decided to contact me to chauffeur you, but hey, <laughs> job's a job. And uh, if I'm being honest, it's, uh, it's pretty rare I get to have someone else here in the truck with me, especially someone who's not an Iconian. So, I welcome the opportunity. Government's been doing this for a little bit. Well, the whole uh, bringing aliens on the planet and seeing how they integrate thing. Federation seems to think that Naconians are some of the friendliest and uh, most agreeable <laughs> of the races, especially here on our planet. So, usually when we discover a new race and uh, we determine them to be sentient and sapient, they, uh, they get sent here to Naconia just to see how they interact. Well, that's kind of step two. First, they bring them on board, you know, the, on a research vessel. But evidently, that means that they're seeing something pretty special in y'all. <laughs> in you Earthlings. Mm. If you can see uh, outside right now, I know it's getting a little bit dark. Nighttime on Naconia actually usually lasts longer than our daytime most months. Uh, but if you look, uh, most of our trees here are actually uh, pink. Yeah, uh, the leaves at least. The trees themselves, uh, we have a variety of trees, but the most populated tree on our planet here is mostly uh, kind of a blackish bark with pink leaves. Uh, but that varies depending on the season. In the winter, they actually shift to being uh, bright green. And then, of course, they fall off after a while. But that depends. Most of our trees are evergreen. Mm. It makes the winter, and just most seasons in general, really nice to explore and just see how everything's changing. The planet's like a whole painting that changes every single month. <sighs> most of the time, when I get a free moment out here, I like to... Uh, stop by a nice hiking trail or something and just go on out see what's up walk around explore nature a bit do some fishing it's nice oh and there's usually not too many people around believe it or not being a uh, forest ranger is actually a very very populated job here on the planet we need a lot of people to, pre to preserve and you know patrol the woods 
are many, many forests. We're mostly forest here. Hmm. Is it dangerous out here in the wild? Eh, sometimes. We, uh... <laughs> we get a few, um... I believe... We call them animals, really, because they are animals, and they help balance our ecosystem and preserve it, but a lot of people call them monsters <laughs> from other planets. Believe it or not, monster hunters are actually a pretty widespread job here in the galaxy. They like to go to planets and hunt what they think are monsters and all this stuff. <sighs> it's kind of being a little cracked down on, if I gotta be honest to you. Um, because most of those animals are just animals that fit in with the society and the ecosystem just as well as any other animal does. Uh, but some planets, there are people settling there in close proximity to them, and so, naturally, human-wildlife uh, interaction and such does happen, and so monster hunters get brought out. But it's a job that's being cracked down on a bit, uh, the whole mercenary monster hunter job. We really don't take super kindly to them here in Naconia, uh, because, well, we've actually done a pretty good job in our history of making sure monsters stay away from our settlements, so, you know, it's a risky run being out here in the wild. I've seen one or two of them, but usually Naconians are big enough, and uh, the animals have kind of evolved and adapted to learn that Naconians can be a threat. That they usually don't attack if you don't mess with them or anything. But, of course, I do keep some protection on me. Just to be prepared. Oh, you're not going to have to worry about any scary monsters, I promise. I'll protect you. Yes, I will. They especially don't come near vehicles, I'll tell you that. They have learned and adapted. They are, they are smart little BCs that learn that... Vehicles and Naconians are not to be messed with, so... Usually, we don't like having monster hunters around these parts. If anything, uh, I think it's going through soon that they might be outlawed here on this planet. The only place they really get employment is out in some of the frontier towns, uh, because sometimes they're in close proximity to animals. But even then, most of the people there can handle themselves. Naconians are actually... Uh, if you don't mind me saying, most Naconians are physically a little bit superior to most of you Earthlings, I have to say. Oh yeah, you know, muscle, weight, height, all that stuff. We have natural defenses in our claws and teeth. Yeah, we, uh, we evolved, you know, kind of as a, I believe we evolved from Apex Predators back in prehistory. We evolved from Apex Predators into who we are now. So... Just by that alone, most of the animals don't mess with us. Especially with superior technology now, you know. But you won't have to worry about any of that. You're living at home in the city. Ugh. You look like you're getting a little bit sleepy, bud. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's a nice, chill night out tonight. I know I've been talking your ear off, so... I think our little history and culture lesson is going to have to end here, okay? Yeah. Here. Uh, I have a bed back there if you want to get up and go back there. Yeah, I don't mind. I, uh, <laughs> most Naconians are kind of a little nocturnal. <laughs> so, I'll do fine staying up, trust me. In fact, when you wake up, we'll probably be at your new house. So, you can just walk on back there and get some sleep, all right? I got a, uh, a blanket set up and everything. Here, go on. There you go. It's nice and soft, isn't it? You go ahead and snuggle up there. Yeah, feel free to doze off. Just cuddle up. What, you have a question? What do you want to know? Only one more, and then you gotta sleep, okay? I, I will only be living about a block away from you, so we'll have plenty of time to hang out and such when uh, when we're back in the city. I stay in the city for about, well, I usually go out driving for a month and then come back for a month, so we'll have plenty of time to hang out. But what's your question? 
would they let you stay here permanently? Well, I guess that depends. If you got anyone back home you want to go to, or if they deem that, you know, you, you integrate well, or you find a job, I guess, you could work here. I don't know. That's, that's not really up to me, but I don't see a problem with it. We have other races here. Despite, you know, <laughs> me saying it's mostly Nikonians, we do have a few, and they are very, very well liked. If anything, they're liked so much that <laughs> we kind of treat them a little more special than most people. Like I said, don't be surprised if some people want to walk up to you and treat you to, to a meal or buy you something or just give me a little pet on the head. Speaking of which, pet, 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 pet. You trying to get some rest now, okay? I'll be right here and I'll keep us on the road, I promise. <laughs> night, night, little earthling. Night, night. 